Hey everyone, today I'm going to quickly go over the Kata reputation rewards you'll want to pick up early on your blood DKs, prop pallies, and prop warriors, and how to get these reps. Like in Wrath, pretty much all of these reps have a tabard available at Friendly that, when worn, gives you rep from mob kills in high level dungeons and heroics. The type of gear we're generally looking for as play tanks is strength gear with mastery as one of the secondary stats. Dodge, parry, expertise, and hit are all great for the other stat. And keep in mind you can always reforge to change 40% of one of the secondary stats to a stat that isn't already on the item. Guardians of Hajal rep is obtained from questing in the new zone Hajal or using the tabard, and it's one of the two options for your first questing zone at level 80, the other one being Vashir. The main reward for us is the Prebis Cloak, Wrap of the Great Turtle at Exalted. Belt of the Ferocious Wolf is our second Prebis too. If you haven't gotten the BOE crafted Prebis belt yet, the Hardened Elementium Girdle, you'll just want to reforge the crit on the Belt of the Ferocious Wolf. At Honored, you can pick up a Neck, Mountain's Mouth, and a Ring, Galron's Bond, until you get something better. They only require level 83, just reforge the crit on Galron's Bond. Earthen Ring Rep is obtained from questing in the new zones of Ashir, Deep Holm, and Twilight Highlands, or by using the Tabard. The main thing we want is the new Tank Helm Enchant, Arcanum of the Earthen Ring at Revered. Stone Wrapped Greaves are a decent pickup early before you have anything better for your legs. They're only eye level 333, but they're usable at level 83 and only require Honored. Therizane Rep is obtained from questing in Deep Holm or by using the Tabard. This one is similar to the Sons of Hodir rep in Wrath in that you'll have to do quite a few quests in the zone to unlock this one. There are daily quests available as well once you've unlocked the Faction Hub. At Exalted you'll get the best version of the Shoulder Enchant. Note that they are not bind on account like the Sons of Hodir ones. There's also a lesser version of the Enchant available at Honored. At Revered you can get one of the Prebis Ring options, Felsen's Ring of Resolve. Rom Kehen Rep is obtained from questing in Old Doom and from a Rep Tabard. There are a couple dailies available as well. At Exalted we can get our Prebis Bracers, the Sand Guard Bracers. There's also another Prebis Ring option available at Revered, Red Rock Band. At Exalted there's a DPS neck that you could reforge to be pretty good if you don't have a 346 Mastery neck yet. Dragon Maw Clan for Horde and Wild Hammer Clan for Alliance Rep can be obtained from questing in Twilight Highlands or from a Rep Tabard. There are some dailies available as well. At Exalted we get our Prebus Boots, Griffin Rider's Boots for Alliance, and Boots of Sullen Rock for Horde. At Revered we have a Prebus Helm option, Crown of Wings for Alliance, and Grinning Face Helm for Horde, if you aren't an Engineer. Hellscream's Reach for Horde and Baradin's Wardens for Alliance rep can be obtained from daily quests in Tolbarad Peninsula and the Tolbarad PvP event. There is no rep tabard for these factions. Riani has a good video going over the specifics of this rep that I'll have linked in the description. At Exalted we get our Biss Trinket, Mirror of Broken Images. Not only does it have Mastery, our best stat, but it also has a resist buff on use on a 1 minute cooldown. This is just a better version of this Syndragosa Trinket from Wrath. It's an essential trinket for any fight with resistible magic damage, and it will be used for a long time. Impatience of Youth is another good trinket for fights you don't need the resist on use and want some extra damage, but make sure you get the mirror first before spending any commendations on this one. There are some I level 346 weapons and I level 333 mastery trinkets available, but they aren't ideal and you're unlikely to have commendations to use on them before you get something better. The most important thing is just getting the mirror of broken images. Here's the collection of all the Prebus items you want from Rep. This means you'll want to be Revered, Earthen Ring, and Exalted everything else. Just do a lot of quests while you level, and make sure you've got a Rep Tabard on while doing high level dungeons and heroics, and you'll get all of these reps pretty quickly. You can even throw in some dailies during downtime to get these even faster. So what order should you do all of this in? The top priority will be getting your Tolbarad dailies done and participating in some of the battles. Again, check out the Riani video for more details on that. As far as the reps you're mainly getting through heroics using your tabard, the order doesn't really matter a ton, but do Therizane last? The stat gain from a better shoulder enchant pales in comparison to the stat gain of an I level 359 piece over a 346. There are also tons of Prebus ring options, so that isn't a huge concern either. I'd go for Guardians of Hajal first to get your 359 cloak and belt, but you could do this one a little bit later if you're going to immediately have the blacksmithing BOE belt. 
Next, I'd go for Dragon Maw slash Wild Hammer for the previous boots since they have mastery and the boot slot just has more atomization points than the bracer slot. Then I'd go Rumka Hen for the previous bracers and ring. Earthen Ring Revered will likely be the second to last thing I do. Like the Shoulder Enchant, the Helm Enchant upgrade isn't a big upgrade, but it also only requires Revered, which you're probably going to be pretty close to after questing. Just quest for this during downtime or throw the tabard on for a couple runs if you're close. That should cover everything you need to know about Cata Phase 1 reps for plate tanks. If you want to support me, you can help me out by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.